I'm not a talented. I really think, and I've thought this for a while, that, and actually Denzel had a line about this in uh, Gangs, of, King of, Gangs of New York, whatever it was, um, where he said, like, the loudest person in the room is the weakest one in the room. I think that if you think you're good at something, you're probably not great at it. And if you think you're terrible, like, what you think you're terrible at, it's because you have so much pride or so much so much love for it that it's never going to be good enough, even when it is. I laugh. Well, every movie, when I get on every movie and I do a take, I giggle inside. Yeah. Like when they're like, all right, are you ready for your scene? And I walk out on set and people come up to me like, Mr. Diaz, are you okay? I'm like, this poor bastard. You know, like yeah. these people. I don't even know how I got here. I don't, like, how did I get hired for this shit? If these people knew that 20 years ago I was crawling <laughs> through a fucking window to steal somebody's blow. <laughs> If they only fucking knew. Like, yeah. I can't believe I'm on this fucking set with these nice white people and, and people with a lint brush taking lint off my shirt and trying to make me look nice. And you're like, why? Yeah, yeah when I was why? on animal practice, right, I would show up an hour early. Like, how come you're here an hour earlier? Because I can't fucking believe you even want me in this. Yeah, I can't believe you want well, me. I don't want to get fired. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't believe well, it. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm doing scenes with a monkey. It was like a monkey one time. I had to do a dialogue scene with the monkey. And the camera's on me, but it has the back of the monkey's head. And I'm killing it. Like, I'm like, and then they're like, we have to do it again because the monkey's head moved. And I'm like, and they're like, we're so sorry. I go, fuck it. You know what I mean? I'm doing a scene with a monkey. Like, this is not supposed to ever happen. They have no idea. I'm supposed to be dead. <laughs> like, I don't yeah. like when I see people who take shit seriously in this business. Yeah. It drives me crazy. What do you mean by taking when it seriously? When I go on a set and like, like I was on a set with this really so-called famous director on a TV show. TV show sucked. <laughs> and the director was old and he was out of fucking touch. But still in Hollywood, he counted for something. And I get that he was blasting music. Like, it was the loudest music I ever heard on set. In my world, a star does that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Brad Pitt could do that. Like, you know... The director, I go, what's going on? They're like, the well, director is good friends with Bruce Springsteen. So he likes to listen to him loud. <laughs> Fuck that punk ass bitch. Yeah. Like that set was misery for me because there was ego, so much ego all the way on the way up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There was so much ego that I did a commercial once where, the, you know, you could always, if I could tell who the director is by his outfit. Yeah. <laughs> who is it, it. So you did a commercial, who was the director? I don't know what his name was. Uh, but he was uncomfortable? Very uncomfortable. I got into an argument with him, and he never messed with me again throughout the whole production. It, was, it wasn't Joe Pitka, was it? No, that's my boy. You love Joe Pitka? Isn't he the guy that, that books a lot of commercials or something? No, he's a director. He's, a he's director. like He did like the Bow Nose campaign. He did. He's supposed to be like the Spielberg of... Joe Pitka directed me in the Taco Bell commercial I did with the dog. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He had a company... Yeah, he put me in three commercials. That dude. Yeah, you he, made a lot of money, right? Yeah, he yeah. Put I me did in twenty Dark commercials. Club. You know what he used to say to me? He used to call me Pan Face Gook. Joe Pick. I yeah. forgot that fucking. He name. fucking told a fucking girl that was he had hired. You have whore hair. You look like a whore. He was crazy. He was fucking crazy, and he was the only man that I ever worked for where literally I was scared shitless. 24 7. Like, I remember, like, you, I, I did a commercial for him and I go, I'll never work for him again. And then, like, eight years later, I get a call. Joe wants, because this is when I was on Mad TV, he goes, he wants to do another IBM commercial. I go, you know what? I could handle it. Because, you know, I've already done it. You know what I mean? I could get, as soon as I said, on this, I literally pee was coming out of my penis. Big he, guy, right? Yeah, he's tall. He has tall. white hair. Yeah, big guy. Yeah, big he guy. retired. He was a legend. Like, he was... Legend. The best commercial director of all time. Okay, right? let me tell you his solid with your Uncle Joey. Yeah. He hired me for the first Taco Bell commercial with the dog. Yeah. It was a Miami commercial. I got the call back. It was shooting on the 3rd of July, 4th of July, 5th of July. I get there on the 3rd of July, and they go, hey, man, they cut the commercial. But Joe wants you to hang out here for the three days, and they're still going to pay you. Oh, said, my okay. God. I said, okay. Well, day one, I eat. I don't say nothing. I'm very happy just to be on this set. It's day two, during lunch, you know, we're doing our thing. Yeah. I'm doing Joey. You know, some guys are fucking with me. I'm fucking with them. He heard my voice. 
And he came over to me after lunch and he goes, stick around today. I'm not butchering this fucking commercial. Because they were like, if you want to leave at five, that's your eight hours. But if you want to stay till midnight, you can stay till midnight. We'll pay you the overtime. Just don't stay out of our way. That's what, This is 97 when commercials were still commercials where you could get rich off a fucking commercial. And the next day he came up to me and he goes, I'm going to put you in a scene. I don't give a fuck. And he put me in the scene. I did it. And six weeks later, I get a call from the actor. The, there was three stand-ups in that, on that set. I was a principal, the other guy was a principal, and the other guy was an extra. The guy that was the top principal called me, and he goes, did you get your letter from Taco Bell? And I go, no. And he goes, yeah, I got my letter. They didn't pick me up. They're probably not going to pick you up either. And they picked you up? They picked me up. And the extra got picked up because the extra had contact with me. So when an extra has contract with a principal, he automatically becomes a principal. So every time I saw that comic... He did everything but suck my dick. <laughs> because I told him, just stick next to me. We're going to get in this commercial together. So he jumped. I go, get the thing and shine my shoes. Yeah. And he was shining my shoes during the commercial. So he became a principal. So every time I see that guy till today, he stops what he's doing. And he comes over and gives me a big hug. And that was Joe Pitka. He put me in the I want to say something. that yeah. I want to apologize for what I said earlier about Joe Pitka. No, seriously. He did call me those things, right? But I want to just say this. I, he gave me a commercial once where I made $350,000. No, you did I swear not. to God, I did. No, you did Yeah. Not, Bobby, no. It was a campaign for IBM. Wow. And I, um, I want to apologize to Joe. Thank you so much for that. You know what I mean? I was uncomfortable during your sets because, I mean, on your, on your set because I felt intimidated. But... I just want to thank you for putting me in your commercials, and I really apologize. He for put it. me in three fucking I'm, commercials. Yeah, I want to apologize. You're the best, and that's it. You know what? Your fucking marijuana smoke got into my mind. <laughs> what the fuck are you giggling about? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you like him? What did he, he did an error. I knew a second ago, but no. <laughs> keep, keep going Went from where you told it, because then. Okay. <laughs> You know that little forehead you got? <laughs> <laughs>